Hello everyone and welcome to my coloring corner. Today is Friday and it's time for some fun fun color emotion stuff. Uh, these are deli colored pencils and they are absolutely fantastic. Um, I just absolutely love these. I like I said yesterday in um, thankful Thursday uh, videos now I'm having a hard time opening them. Um, I bought these just because I was depressed and they were cute and made me smile and cheered me up quite a bit. So they are a fun, fun set of pencils that has such a wonderful, fun name and uh, tin. It is a wonderful tin. It has a hinged lid. And of course, it says Color Emotion colored pencils there, and all of these 25 fantastically colored pencils. I will go through them after the swatch. So I will be right back. Okay, so that wasn't okay. So that wasn't so bad. Um, now the swatch was only twenty-five colors, so of course there, I sped that up and added a little bit of music, so there it went pretty quick for you. Now I did add the colors to my previous Delhi colored pencil swatch, so these are the Delhi uh, oil pencils, and then these down here are the Delhi. Um, emotion color pencils. These are an oil-based color pencil and they have the funnest names. For example, I'm going to switch you on over to the close-up camera here. Uh, for example, Angelic White. Isn't that cute? And I love the little little doodads on them. You know, the yellow is funny yellow and it's got little little stars with smiles little flowers with smiles little stars with smiles it's so cute and then we have warm yellow and it's got the sun and the clouds absolutely adorable adorable how cool is that 
and then we have original blush with the with the wonderful little birds and I'm going to go through all of them you know that right <laughs> excited red look at that they just make me smile just the names energetic orange and the little music notes the names just make me smile uh, this one here is hopeful red with the little leaves there coming up there is 25 of them with these fantastic names uh, poetic pink with the butterflies passion burgundy with the roses and this one is charming fuchsia with some pretty flowers and this one is a majestic violet with the little masks on there dreamy plum <laughs> just love 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 the graphics on them as well as the um, names like this is faithful blue and it's got the puppy dogs with the with the drool you know <laughs> it's like how fun are these cold blue with the mountains and the snow and we're all we're almost through we're at the blues <laughs> and this one is peaceful blue with the doves peaceful doves this one is cool green with the sunglasses at night because yeah they're cool and this one is idealist green with the people forms there look like dancing they look like stars but they have little heads <laughs> and this one is creative green with the light bulbs and the stars because the light bulbs go off when you're all creative and then we have vigorous green with the fires and then we have exotic gold with the yin and yang and then we have natural brown this one's the most boring of them all but it's got some wonderful little trees and then we have cozy brown with the coffee because yeah nothing says cozy more than a hot drink and then we have neutral silver with the um, male female type signs on them and then we have bold black with the lions on it are those not the funnest names ever and of course as you can see on the swatch the pencils just lay down so nice and they're very um, close to the other deli pencils in color as well which is fantastic because they will go into the colored pencils with the delis so nicely now we're going to play with them and um, you know of course with playing with colored pencils we have to sharpen them now these are triangles I have never sharpened a triangle before and um, you know they definitely need to be sharpened because while I was swatching as you can see the 
wood goes all the way up the lead. So we're going to swatch, we're going to sharpen them and we're going to see if that goes down. Um, I haven't had a problem with deli pencils before. With getting that uh, lead to be up. Yes, so it sharpened beautifully. So they are quite well centered for being in a triangle. Um, which is great. I was a little bit concerned. <laughs> and the doll 133 comes through again and sharpens them beautifully. Now this one's a little bit off center, but not a whole lot. It still gives you plenty of room to color with. Now I probably um, will try to conserve these because of the names. They are just so cute. And the names are quite far up the barrel. So if you sharpen them too far or too much, you know, you've only got to hear before you lose all your pretty, pretty names. So I probably will be very conservative using them and sharpening them because of the fact that I really, really like the names. <laughs> I just think the names are just so cool. Now, the one thing that I did find with the box is the um, insert in the box is a little bit flimsy. And my pencils, by the time they got to me, had already punctured the box. Now, I am going through and I am sharpening each and every one of these because I want to be able to just grab a pencil and color. And most of them are sharpened the same way from the factory where the wood is all the way up, um, up the, the lead. And that is no fun to color with. And I know I should have done this beforehand, but I wanted to show you that they can be sharpened with the doll. See, they are all beautifully centered as well. And that's just sharpened dust. Make sure that you wipe your pencils after you sharpen them. Um, I find that with the doll and with most rot rotary sharpeners like this, you get little fragments on your leads. I have I have another hand crank sharpener as well that works really really well. I absolutely love it except for the it suction cups down and the suction cup let's see if I can grab my tongue for a moment. The suction cup doesn't keep um, suctioned anymore so it uh, gets off balance and is hard to use. I have to find another way to mount it. It still works, but the suction cup gets stuck or gets loose and then it just jumbles all over the place. With the doll, it doesn't have a suction cup. It does have a little thing that you can use to attach it to your desk if you want to, but you don't have to. Now, with them being deli colored pencils, um, and like I said, I have the oil-based deli colored pencil 72 set that they had, had out, as well as the deli watercolor pencils. And I absolutely adore them. I just think they're fantastic. And when I started coloring with these, because of the way that the leads are, I'm sorry, I should put you on the main there so you can see what I'm doing. Um, because of the way the leads are in the triangle and the fact that they are sharpened poorly from the factory, they were feeling scratchy. And then I noticed that, yeah, it's the wood that goes all the way up. And I always color the, my swatches straight out of the box um, for my videos because I want to show that they can, or whether or not they can, be 
coloring right out of the box because that's one of their selling features. One of the things they sell pencils with that selling feature of pre-sharpened, ready to go right out of the box. Some are and some are not. Um, some have a wax coating on them. So when you go to use the lead, it you know, use the, the pencil, the color doesn't come out very well and that sort of thing. And that's why I sharpen them after I do my swatch and then I color with them so that I can show you that yes, you can swatch with these right out of the box or no, you need to sharpen them. You know, it's just one of those little tests of their marketing um, that I do. I know that before you start coloring a main picture or a major picture, you want to sharpen your pencils. Just because, you know, there's the way they sharpen them in the factory isn't always the best way. Okay, almost done. Almost done. We are all the way down to natural silver or neutral silver. And now for bold black. I just I love the pictures on them. <laughs> I just think they're just the cutest things. All right, so let's go over to our close up here and choose a picture. Um, let's do the snail. And the snail or the boat. Let's see what kind of. Um, maybe the boat. Let's do the boat. Just because. All right, so let's start with the water. And we're going to use cool green. I'm going to move you over here a bit so you can see what I'm doing. I'm just putting in a bit of this cool green in little areas and following those water lines. Now we will also do a test uh, with these to see if they are water soluble or not. They might be, I don't know. Um, they didn't say whether or not they were on Amazon. And like I said, I, I just, love the, the names. Um, you know, the, the main reason why I bought them is because they were just, they were cheerful, they cheered me up, and they made me feel good. So, you know, it's just one of those things, you know, you, you buy something and, and you go, well, with all the pencils you have, did you really need a little tiny 25 set? And then you look at the names, go, yep, I do. <laughs> All right, so we're going to grab this wonderful, wonderful blue here, which is cool blue. And we're going to go into some of that green with cool blue. And it just, it's laying down really, really nicely. There's no, not a lot of scratch, nothing like that. And it seems to blend together quite nice, which is awesome. Like I said, these were a purchase that was specifically a, I don't feel 
very good right now and I don't feel very happy right now and I'm not liking things right now so let's do some retail therapy <laughs> and I wasn't even meaning to buy anything I just I just wanted to you know zone out and stare at Amazon for a little while and see what was available and what what uh, sort of things I could suggest to you guys and they caught my eye and the the tin caught my eye and they were just so it was just such a cheerful tin and uh, then the names I, I've just read off the names and it went yeah those are cool I like those okay so we're going to add a little bit of faithful blue here just at the very tips of this other blue and just in little areas not in too much but not too little just to give it some some shadowing and then we're going to go into that with this other lighter blue there we go and just blend it all together and bring all those colors into one spot There we go. Now, of course, there is, you know, probably some white spot because I'm not being very careful. But I want to try and see if I can uh, blend with a blending pencil. As well as do other things. So let's go with... Um, Let's go with exotic gold. Do the top band of this little ship in the bottle. And then we're going to grab our wonderful cup of coffee here in our cozy brown. And we're just going to Give it some coziness. Make it cozy. <laughs> I love that. Uh, cozy brown. And then we're going to grab our natural brown here. And we're going to oh, press too hard. That's what we're going to do. We're going to press too hard. I pressed too hard and I broke the tip. So now I'm going to have to sharpen it again. I don't want to. <laughs> so I'm not going to. Now we're going to take the silver and we're going to do the mass and then we're going to take this yellow and we're going to do the around the edges yeah let's just do the whole thing and I'll go over it with white in the middle just to make it lighter And I didn't expect a whole lot out of these pencils when I bought them. Um, I expected them to be really good, like deli pencils, but uh, I'm really surprised with the amount of range 
that you get in 25 pencils. You know, it's definitely enough to do an entire picture with the pencils that are there. So it gives a really, really good range of color. And as you can see, they blend together really, really nicely. Now I'm going to take a little bit of this. And this one is Mystic Violet. I know I'm coloring the clouds purple. But I don't care because I want purple clouds. <laughs> and it's my ship in the bottle, so. What I'm doing is I'm just outlining it. I'm doing the areas inside where the darker pencil is going to go. Those little things are. Give it a little bit more darkness on the outside here. I think this pencil would have been better to do the outline with because it's a bit darker. There we go. And then we'll take our lighter pencil and fill it in. And I'm not filling it all the way in because I'm going to use the white and pull that around and lighten it a bit. And blend it all together. And give different little highlights and whatnot. Just like that. Now, as you can probably see, these are a lot dustier than um, a lot of pencils that I have been using lately. And that's perfectly fine. That happens. Um, sometimes the pencils are just a little bit more pigmented, a little less... Um, binder or have a harder binder where it just crumbles a little bit and like i said i did not expect a whole lot from these pencils when i bought them i bought them solely for the fact that they made me smile and they were cheerful <laughs> i know not the best reason to buy a set of pencils but i am extremely surprised and very happy with the um the way that they are and the way they have turned out uh, for coloration because they are very nicely colored. Now I'm just going around the edges of the bottle here with that uh, bottle type of green color. And then we're going to take that gold color and we're going to, actually, we're going to use an orange. And we're going to do the cork. Just because I want to use as many possible colors as I can. You know, it's only a little tiny picture, but I will try to get all the colors on it that I can get on it. And what other color did I miss? Oh, let's use this green. All right. So there is our little ship. Our little ship in the bottle. Now we're going to take our um, blending stick here, our Caran Dash blending stick. And we're going to just 
blend everything together, make it all look nice and nice and smooth. Hopefully. <laughs> and it does seem to blend quite well with this. It seems to be taking out most of the white spot and any large areas of color that I've left. Now in these areas here, I didn't, I did a very, very light shading of that blue. So it's not going to do a whole lot in those areas. It may move some of the blue around, but because I did such a light shading, the blender pencil doesn't really have a lot to pick up. So, and then we're going to blend this together. And we're going to blend this together and the orange. And there we have it. And for a, a little tiny 25 set of pencils um, with some wonderful, wonderful names. I think they did quite well. So I've added the name there, Color Emotion Deli Colored Pencils. And as you can see, <clears throat> this one here is the RAM that we did earlier. And then we also have our June Gold that we did earlier as well. And all of them are very nice pencils. They all blend together quite nicely. The June Gold are very small, so I would definitely use those in um, for details and stuff like that. The Ram colored pencils are very nice, uh, a wonderful set. These pencils are very nice. Um, they go down beautifully, just the same as the other Deli pencils that I have and what I expected. Um, I didn't expect a lot of colors from them. Um, I didn't blend the ship. Let's blend that. But um, the amount of range that is actually in it is really nice. And of course, you can't beat those names. You know, they are just so wonderful. Now, make sure that you don't put too much pressure on them because I did put a heavy hand on that poor little brown and it did break. So. You may have to, have to uh, be a little bit gentler with them than I was. I'm going to switch you over to the main here so you can see how that looks up. And make sure that the colors are showing properly to you. So they are a wonderful, wonderful 25 set of pencils. 24 set of pencils. But those names... Did I tell you the names? They're just so wonderful. I, I can't get over the names of them. I'm sorry. Um, we are going to do a quick uh, water test with them. Now, I did a water test earlier on the RAM colored pencils, and it did fail horribly. Make sure if you do buy the RAM colored pencils that you don't use them with water. Uh, if you do use them with water, Put down your watercolors first, use your RAM colored pencils afterwards. So we're going to take Hopeful Red and we're going to switch you over to the other camera here so you can see what I'm doing. There you go. So we're going to take Hopeful Red and we're just going to try not to make a, a too much of a break in the pencil because I really don't want to sharpen it again. <laughs> and then we're going to take the blue, which is Faithful Blue. And the reason why we do it with these particular pencils, particular colors, is because they are A, the primary colors, and B, the most pigmented. 
So the reds, the brown, the blues, and the yellows are going to be the most pigmented colors because they are the purest of colors. And as you can see with some of the cast off here, I'm a little bit concerned that uh, there's a lot of pigment coming off of them. So let's take this pen, make sure that it's clean. So as you can see, nothing is coming off of it. And we're gonna wet it. Wiped it clean so that I can be sure that there is absolutely nothing on it. And we've got our red, which bleeds a little bit. Definitely bleeds a little bit. Nothing like that, but it did bleed a little. And like I said, these are the most pigmented of colors that usually come in your sets. And onto the blue. And again, the blue moves a little bit. Not a whole lot, but still moves. And I'm quite sure if I keep on agitating it, it'll move even more. Same with the red. It all depends upon how much you agitate it. If you're scrubbing water onto your colors, yeah, you're going to get movement. But if you're just spraying a fixative on it, um, that sort of thing. And of course the yellow does move as well. Not a lot. If I scrub it, yes, it's going to, it's going to move. It's going to move a lot if I scrub it. As you can see, and I've still got a bit of blue on there from the last one. So if you scrub it, it's going to move. Um, if you put a drop of water on it, it's going to move. But if you spray it with a fixative, I don't think it's going to move a whole lot. Um, especially if you've burnished it. That's another trick too, is I'm going to actually test that right now because I never thought of that up until this moment. I'm going to take our red and take our hopeful red because that's one of the ones that moves quite a bit. And I'm going to go back and forth in those two directions. And then I'm going to take my blending pencil. I'm using the Caran Dash blender and I'm going to blend it all together. And I won am wondering if one of the things that people are having problems with, with the movement of their um, pencils, can be solved by just blending them with the blending pencil. And look at that. Barely any movement at all. Let's put a, I've got a whole, yeah, look at that. There is no movement. I've got a whole drop of water on there. So if you are going to spray a fixative on your work and you're using a pencil that bleeds, when you put water on it or liquid on it, blend it first. Go over it with a blending pencil. Let's try the yellow because the yellow did really bad. So we're going to use the yellow here. And put a nice thick layer. That's about as thick as the other one that I put down. And dust off any excess. And then we're going to blend it with the blending pencil.
and get that blending pencil on there. Now that little bit of blending pencil peel off was because I went over the <laughs> went over the sides there. And then we're going to first make sure that that's completely blended. Let's just be extra careful with it. Make sure that we blend the whole thing. Okay, the blender has been used across the entire picture, entire spotch. I'm going to make sure that this is clean. No stuff coming off of it. Good. So as you can see down here, I've put some water down there. Nothing came off the paint, the brush. So nothing. Gonna actually put water directly on it. Nothing. Absolutely no movement. So my conclusion to this is without a blender, with a blender try to blend your pencils when you're done coloring your your area if you're going to be using a wet medium on top of or a round use a blending pencil blend the area seal it and then it won't bleed all right, guys, I want to say thank you very much for watching. That was an interesting experiment and a, a good thing to know. I did not think of it until just now. Um, if I've got motion in my, in my pencils, if I have a set of pencils that I know is going to move, I am definitely going to blend it. And it seems to um, seal it in and keep it from moving around which is really cool. Let's uh, actually give one more try because the Ram yellow, I've got the Ram set right here because I haven't put them away yet. So let's see if I can find the yellow because it moved like it became liquid. So let's grab that maybe. There it is. So the lemon, no, it was the cadmium yellow. So we're going to sharpen this up and we're going to do one last experiment with the blending pencil. Because yeah, this one here um, really did turn to liquid. We're going to go back to the close up here. So this is cadmium yellow, the Ram refined. It's the exact same one as right here. So we're going to go down here and we're going to color a swatch. And we're going to go back over it and just make sure that we get lots of color down there. And then we're going to dust it off and take our blending pencil if we can find it. Okay, I just had it. What did I do with it? Are you kidding me? There it is. <laughs> I lost it. And then we're just going to blend that all in. Now that's just the blending pencil coming off because I don't have, I keep on going over because I want to blend. I want to seal in all of the edges. So got the blending pencil all over. Then we're going to take our paintbrush. As you can see, nothing coming off. And then we're going to go over here and we're going to put a drop so that you can see there's water. And it still bleeds a little bit, but not nearly as much. It definitely didn't go completely liquefied like it did earlier without blending it. So it's still going to move a little bit on the Ram, refi uh, Ram Refined, but on these Deli, not at all. Not a single touch of movement, 
which is just really awesome to me. Okay, that's enough experimenting for one day. <laughs> I thank you all very much for joining me. Um, I hope you have enjoyed these wonderful, fun things that I've come out with for you for Fri Fun Stuff Friday. I hope to see you tomorrow during our Saturday color and chat. Of course, we will be playing with the Caran d'Ache colored pencils, and we are going to be coloring this wonderful Fairy Secret Reading World by Heather Valentin. And uh, it is a Patreon um, exclusive. So if you are a member of her Patreon group, uh, tier two or above, you will have access to that picture and you can definitely join me in coloring that picture. Um, if you're not already a Patreon member of Heather Valentin, um, take a look at it. It's uh, very inexpensive. Um, and the things that she gives her Patreons is just phenomenal for the price. With that, I thank you all very much for joining me. Of course, I will leave a link to these wonderful pencils down below in the About section. And uh, of course, that will be an affiliate link. So just so you're aware, the affiliate link does pay me um, a couple of cents for every time that somebody purchases something from an affiliate link. So, and of course that is at no cost to you. And all of those pennies go into our fund for the channel. So that is helping support the channel. And I appreciate every single one of you that has hit the affiliate links. Uh, of course, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. If you enjoyed this video and uh, wanna see more of it or you know, have other suggestions for me, all of those fun things, leave me a comment. I do appreciate all of your comments and I do try to answer every single one of them as quickly as I can. If you are not already a subscriber to the channel, please subscribe. Um, we do, uh, I do put out a video every single day except for Sunday. And just a heads up, this Sunday is a special Sunday. So there will be a live stream on Sunday at 12 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. And I have some wonderful, wonderful things that I'm going to go over with some rules and regulations and stuff like that that you have to watch um, in order to be able to uh, be eligible for the special thing that's happening. Um, of course, last but not least whatsoever is Remember to always relax, color, and stay safe. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed all of the wonderful fun stuff we have had for you this Friday. Uh, and I can't wait to see you tomorrow in our color and chat. All right, guys. Thanks so much. Bye-bye for now.